Deputy Chairman, sir. Over the last few years, India has emerged as, a, as the third largest domestic aviation market in the world. And the number of major airports has increased from 12 to 30. And during the period 2007 to 17, in between this period, they probably may have increased a few more now. So exponential growth of the sector has added tremendous pressure to the authorities. So private operators are entering the sector in the form of public-private partnership, PPP. Engaging private partners in the infrastructure projects, several models are followed, such as predetermined tariff or tariff based on bidding, and the airport project is awarded to the concessionaire who offers the lowest tariff. So the major part of this bill is to amend the definition of major airport. And as the minister rightly said, the excess of from one and a half million to the excess of three and a half million. So in one stroke, this takes 17 airports outside the ERA's purview, leaving it to administer 30. So ERA is based in Delhi. The government's explanation for this decision is to keep a lid on airport charges, parking and landing fees, ground handling services, and so on. It is significant for us that the cabinet decision marks the third attempt to introduce this bill, sir. This is the third attempt. Um, <coughs> sir, the airlines, the airline claims that they cannot expand frequency of their flights due to severe slot constraints. So that's one issue that has been looked into. So the GVK group was unable to provide more slots to the airlines and thus they could not increase their air frequencies. So in, order, in, in an order in December 2015, ERA proposed to slash Delhi airport charges by a whopping 96.08%. Accordingly, the user development fee would be cut to, from, to rupees 10 for each departing domestic passenger for international travelers, it would be rupees 45, and arriving passengers would not be required to pay any fee, sir. So, so the, uh, another problem is litigation, which I am just going to mention. So the, the Delhi, so the Delhi airport run by the GMR group similarly challenged the order and got a stay. The case is still pending. So the airport oper operators have moved tribunal challenging ERA's order. The airlines have similarly ch challenged ERA's orders multiple times. So it has become a classic case of re regulator proposing and the government disposing. So the operators say that the re regulatory philosophy should be light-handed and in management that facilitates development of airports. The regulator has to take steps to remove uncertainties in the tariff regulatory philosophy. The ERA chief feels that the regulatory body has been slow to fix its house after being set up in 2009, sir. So, however, the, the regulator feels that it is unfair to blame ERA for any loss of airport operator's revenue. The ERA chief says that the regulator takes significant care to ensure that the airport operator is not short of money. The tariff is based on certain parameters and that take into consideration expenses, assets, return, over investment and taxes paid by the operators. Sir. So typically airport charges are comparatively higher, this is a point to note, during the initial period of commencement of the airport's operations. However, these charges are, get substantially reduced uh, as the investment for development is recovered. Some aviation ex experts feel that the regulator will complicate things and that airlines and an air operator should be allowed to fix it between them. In many West economies, the regulator plays a very limited role, sir. That's also a point to know. So Air India executives argue that the economies can do without regulation and it's not a monopoly situation. In a city like London, sir, Gatwick and Heathrow compete 
to attract airlines because one city has two airports. This is not the case in Delhi or Mumbai. Although Delhi has got T1, T2 uh, and T3. Sir, I would like to suggest a few things to the Honorable Minister. That, sir, we need to upgrade Goa and Jaipur airports. Uh, my friend Hari Prasadji has said about various Karnataka airports, but we need to start Mysore airport also. It's very important to start Mysore airport, sir. And I think the loss in Air India is much larger than private airlines, as was there in the previous governments, yours and mine, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you.